Good morning, Palm Ridge. I'm Garrison, and welcome to this week's show. And I'm Nick. Thanks for tuning in. As usual, we're starting this week's show with announcements. For anyone interested, the District 38 College Fair will be coming up this Thursday, October 17th, in the Sunset Room from 6 to 7 p.m. And that's all we have for announcements. For this week's show, Mikey got some great shots at the American Paintball Coliseum. Caleb went down to the Black Box to check out the Improv Show held earlier this month, and Jane caught an event held by the FCA. Cody got a glimpse of the construction of the new high school, which is set to come out of August of 2020. And lastly, Kiara planted herself with the pumpkin patch that pops up every fall. And now, with that out of the way, on to our show. For some of us, school can seem like a challenge, but Mikey was able to escape that groove with some good old paintball. The American Paintball Institute's a great place just to have fun or go and pelt your friends. The American Paintball Coliseum has a wide variety of things to do, including paintball, airsoft, hyperball, laser tag, and low power paintball for the whole family to enjoy. Also, they have a snack bar so in between games you can stay refreshed and hydrated. The APC in all locations have a shop for you to buy paintballs, BBs, weapons, paintball or airsoft, and CO2 for your weapons. I think the most fun is being able to play with all groups of people from like um, all walks of life. Uh, on top of all that, I think that being able to uh, work as a team is a huge, huge thing, uh, especially in the real world. And uh, being able to use those kind of real world, world skills and application to a sport, I think it's really fun. They have arenas in Denver, Colorado Springs, and Phoenix, Arizona. For Ridgeline, this is Mikey Beister. Well, it may not be as big as basketball or football, but that doesn't take away about how much fun it can bring. Thanks, Mikey. Palmer Ridge has many classes and programs that can satisfy all of our interests, from engineering to foreign languages. And while we all enjoy ourselves during our classes, some of us put on a show for the enjoyment of others. Caleb got a look at one of these groups who, earlier this month, delivered us this year's first black box show. Oh my god, hi! How's it going? I didn't see you there. In theater, there are scripts, there are sets, costumes, and lines to memorize. But in improv, they just make it up on the spot. Not long ago, the improv class held their shows in the black box during first and second lunch. They performed various games that required them to think on the spot. The class managed to get some laughs out of their audiences through their movements and voices. I, it's helped me more, like think more on the spot and quickly and creatively um, about things. Uh, and I've had a lot of fun doing it. The improv class had a lot of fun performing for all of their audiences. If you did not get to see any of these shows, do not worry. More will be held in the future, also during lunch. Try and make it to one of them next time. For Ridgeline, this is Caleb Inema. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, I said it. You're a nerd. It's good to see that improv is off to a wonderful start. I'll have to go see their next show. Thanks, Caleb. Sometimes finding a sports group can be hard, but Jane showed us the FCA, where you don't have to be a Christian or an athlete. One of the vast clubs in our school is Fellowship of Christian Athletes, better known as FCA. Well, at FCA, they're teaching us how to be disciples in our sport. Within this fun night at Ponderosa Campground, they eat some delicious food, have a big group talk, break up into small groups, then end the night playing some games. This great event starts at 7 p.m. and ends at 9 p.m. every Monday night. We would love to have you. It's super fun, food, fellowship, and friends, and you would meet a bunch of new people. Each year, there is a certain verse that guides the theme. This year, the verse is Matthew 28, 18 through 20. If you want to get information for this club, talk to Ms. Phillips or Mr. McAllister. Their information is on the school website under FCA. For Ridgeline, this is Jaden Kaylee. They're all about positivity and compassion, and if that sounds attractive enough for you, maybe you can give them a shot. Thanks, Jaden. The rivalry between ourselves and Lewis Palmer has been tense, as we're the only two high schools in our district. Whether it's been in academic, sports, or arts, we've always strived to be better than the other. This may change, though, as by this time next year, a new high school will have made its appearance in the district, and Cody went over to the site of its construction to give us more details on just what we can expect. 
Right now, students of the Lewis Palmer School District have two options in schools, Lewis Palmer and Palmer Ridge. But pretty soon, there'll be a new option, Monument Academy High School. Monument Academy will be building a high school, and a YMCA will be built right next to it. The high school broke ground during May and have been forming the foundation for which the school and YMCA will be built. The school plans to open in August of 2020. If you live in the Black Forest area, then you can look forward to a local YMCA near you. Some concerns of the people of Black Forest are the traffic that will be running through the intersection. Yeah, so I think traffic is going to be pretty bad, especially in the Walden community. Um, but I think the, the county's doing a good job with putting in uh, and a good in and an out, whereas, you know, the carpoolers aren't going to be going in one direction. Be sure to check out the new high school next year. For Ridgeline, this is Cody Cunningham. Thank you, Cody. It's always exciting to see something new, and I'm interested to see where this takes our district in the future. Halloween is around the corner, and one of the key parts of the night itself is the pumpkins that light the street. And it's a cheerful way to show that the trick-or-treaters are having fun. Kiara went down to Monument Pumpkin Patch to take a look at how they're welcoming us to the season of spooks. Pumpkin patches are part of the Halloween spirit, and Halloween's right around the corner. So guess where I am? The pumpkin patch is for all ages, and this one in Monument has a lot to offer. From tractor rides, mini games, and even face painting. Not to mention the petting zoo they have with all the cute animals. We just started a program we're really excited about. It's called Johnny Pumpkin Seed, but it's to try to get, it's kind of replacing what Vinatucci used to do in a way. I mean, it was inspired by that. But uh, it's helping special needs kids get pumpkins. It's helping foster kids get pumpkins and kids that qualify as disadvantaged. And so we still want to get pumpkins to them. For Ridgeline, this is Kiara Cruz. Thanks, Kiara. All those pumpkins sure make me excited for Halloween. Last week's snow took us a bit by surprise, being so early in the fall season. And while we can't expect m much snow this week, Anissa is here again to show us what we can't expect. Well, I'm back to do the weather. Now, let's take a look at this week. It's been pretty nice out, except for the snow, which was a bummer because it's only the third week of October. Now, let's get a look at those satellite images. The images on the screen were from last week when we had snow. For this week, it seems like we're getting some precipitation down south in our state, so hopefully it won't hit Monument. Now, on to the five day. We'll start off the week with some sunny skies in the low 60s, and it looks like it'll stay that way for a while. In the evenings, we'll have temps in the mid 30s. Well, that's the weather for this week. And guys, if you want to know more about the weather, just look outside. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Anissa. It's great to see that the weather this week might be a little cold, but nothing too much like last week. And now we have a couple pictures that were sent to us from last, week, last week's awards assembly. First, we have the senior class enjoying their last fall awards assembly. And next, we have Aiden, Andrew, Kieran, and Patrick showing us how proud they are of some of their peers who received awards. Well, that's all we have for you this week, Bears. Have a good one.